Hello guys, welcome back. This is my boy Gadam Sling. How you guys doing? Welcome to another crazy video. Uh, firstly, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. And uh, try as much as possible to invite your friends and to like this video, comment, share it on all stream platform, and then subscribe by clicking the uh, subscribe button below. Then uh, we're going to discuss about majorly uh, politics. I know in Oshun State, of course, we see all the political parties there doing their rally, PDP, Kakosis, should I call them Kakosis? <laughs> PDP uh, stakeholders are there, and the uh, APC stakeholders are there, and the uh, Labour Party stakeholders are also there. We saw them doing their rally yesterday. They started their rally from uh, uh, Oshun State, that is uh, Labour Party, and also uh apc also did that as well well firstly this is what uh, president Muhammad Buhari said recently he said my greatest asset to my children is education i am not leaving anything for anyone to inherit his greatest asset asset to his children is education and meanwhile, also, these six months now, they are on strike. Other people's children are not going to school. Well, if you are said, education, and you don't want all that Nigeria parents to leave good education legacy for their children, now God will judge you. It's a low and speechless year. I believe he doesn't even know how rich his children are. He <laughs> said, so what else do you want to give them after having it all now with the education in the best school outside Nigeria, sir? But your other Nigeria children are out of school and still hungry, meaning you don't see us as your children, sir. It is well, and the ones you refuse to train will disturb you. Well, that's coming from viewers. I do not think President Manu Barry should be making that statement even for the fact that ASO are on strike for six months now. Six good months, guys. And the president is making such statements. Of course, the best thing you can ever give to your kids is education. It's education. But why not also give it to other people's children as well? And... Uh, Talking about Onshu State and the Labour Party, Rino Mokure mocked them this year. According to Rino Mokure, while he was having uh, his own response on Onshu State rally yesterday, he said, In a major flop, less than 1,000 people attended Peter Obi's Labour Party rally in Onshu State. The Labour Party mega rally in Oshun earlier today, but really, who, who in his right mind goes to Oshu to sing Zobu Zobu Oi? <laughs> well, the thing is that uh, what this guy said, his name is uh, Godwin, he said, Peter Obi joined Labour Party less than three months ago. Labour Party was barely talked about or known. In that period, even you haven't quit talking about him and the party. The streets are picking up. It took PDP and APC years. Give them a break. They are making a difference. Well, uh, I don't know if that rally was really great for Peter B. I mean, why Peter will be also made a statement. I'm going to play it for you guys. But firstly, let's check out what Tinubu said recently while he was also hosting his, uh, his uh, rally. He called other, P other parties uh, Trump's parties that they won't see the day and they, will, they are going to labor forever. Listen to him, guys. <laughs> I want to be a one that want labor. Labor and also cool. 
Allahu ni jaga indo ni lebira o. Amio. Allahu ni soi di lebira o. Amio. Ire le ma badele o. Amio. Ire wo. Ase. Ile omo. Ase. Ire alubarika. Ase. Eyi loko. Bani. Eyi loko. Awani. Said like all those uh, corrupt uh, corrupted party like Labour Party, they are going to labor forever. Well, it's see one thing Labour Party has is that a lot of political giants are talking about them, despite uh, them saying they are the like the underdogs in this uh, coming presidential election or any election at all. They are the underdogs, but you can't deny it. A lot of other people are talking about them. In fact, now Labour Party is simply becoming one of the major parties in Nigeria. Like APC, PDP, the next in line is Labour Party. You know, Labour Party was Labour Party existed, but honestly, they were not that talked about. But recently, they are talking about them. Why? Because they are afraid. And uh, here is uh, what Peter Obi said at his rally recently. And listen to the original chairman when he said that somebody said that they can labor to death. When they show you or when they talk like that, when they show you hatred, Labour Party will show them love. There's dignity in Labour. Those who have labored will get their reward. That's what we want to do in Nigeria. We want to get what? Monkey the work for people to chop. We don't want monkey to work again, Babu to chop. Let monkey chop. We don't want anybody to die. We want them to live. We want the baboons to live. But we want them to join the monkey in working. We want the babu to come and join monkey in working. So that two of them can live and chop. So when they talk about dying, pray for them to live. We want Nigeria to be show love. Responding to what uh, Tinobu said that uh, Labour Party will labor to death. He said that when Labour Party Tinubu said that, he's going to show them love. And this is exactly what people are really angry about towards Peter B. Why do you keep showing love to people who are insulting, throwing uh, things at you? Why do you keep showing them love? Nigeria political system is not that way. It's not built that way. It's fire for fire. You do not keep calm. You do not bring pencil to a gun fight. You do not bring cutlass to a gun fight. You have to bring in gun to a gun fight. That's exactly why people are so mad. Why is it so calm? Why do we feel like it's a saint? I think that's exactly what uh, people are, are, are so mad at uh, Peter Obi. Well, let's see what we happen though. And uh, again, you know, talking about this uh, Muslim Muslim ticket, honestly, I don't even understand why we are so troubled about this Muslim Muslim ticket. If APC decided to bring Muslim Muslim ticket, is only APC the only political party in this way in this Nigeria? There are other political parties as well who offer another options. Why are you only coming for talking about uh, 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 Tinubu and Chetima Muslim Muslim ticket? Let's move past that and look other political parties who offer Muslim Christian tickets. So instead of uh, relaxing, always talking about an APC Muslim Muslim ticket, talk about other people uh, who offer you another option. So vote for the people who offer you that different option. And uh, 
check out this uh this uh nigeria senator abo who was you no know, at one time caught on camera for slapping a pregnant woman well he said tunubu is insulting them by picking a muslim muslim uh, by picking a muslim vice president to be efforts by the christian community within the apc in northern nigeria of course i saw the communication yesterday yes uh, efforts to make sure that your interest is factored in it never came to be what consideration because the presidential ticket holder said competence do you align with that i think it thinking? is insulting it is insulting to say no competent christian to be a vice president how competent is tinbu to be president if you say my father, because my father is a Christian in the north, my father is not competent. No, no bishop is competent. No Christian professors are competent. I think that is annoying. That is, an, that is insulting. And he should apologize to Christians for saying that. He should come and apologize to Christians for saying that. That is based on competency. That is insulting. What do you mean by I'm not competent? My father is not competent. My professors are not competent. My bishops are not competent. Then nobody is competent. And I said before, this shouldn't be what Christians should be crying out for. Muslims should supposed to take up this fight and say, we don't accept this. Because it is against the Muslim faith. Some of them have actually. Yes, but of course, again. look at the, so many of the illiterates of them who doesn't read Quran. They're all over the place, saying it's a jihad. It's not jihad. Is that interpretation that I give you? I am seeing all of them. I'm a very, very. I ha I have hundreds of uh, 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 of followers on social media. Yeah. I have I I have. So that's the interpretation they are giving. It? Yes, that's the interpretation they are doing now. That is jihad. It's not jihad. This is anti-Islam. I quoted yesterday in the book of Holy Quran, chapter 4, verses 135. He said, oh, you believers, stand for justice. Even if it is against yourself, even if it is against your own parents, even if it is against your own relatives, stand for justice. Be witnesses for Allah. He says, stand for justice. Now, if you now trying to justify jihad, it's not jihad. This is anti-Islam. I quoted yesterday in the book of Holy Quran. That, that Quran verses, and that is definitely right, though, stands for justice. And, uh, of course, a lot of Muslims have actually spoken up, and, uh, you know, but, you know, some people will still talk. We are in a democratic system. And the most painful thing is that Nigeria forgets so easily. Nigeria forgets so easily. We forget, we forgot so quickly during the NSAS period what happened. We forgot about the palliatives. We forgot about so many other things as we are crying for them. Oh, Nigeria. And then uh, let's talk about what uh, Festus Kiyamu said about Tinubu wife. He said, Nigeria and Christian in particular should have nothing to fear in respect of the president and commander in chief by God's grace and the vote of Nigerians who allowed a uh, uh, vote of Nigerians Tinubu who allowed his only wife to be a practicing Christian and a pastor under the same rule for over 40 years. So the APC comes to the table with two uh, highly successful state chief executive who did excellently well in their state during their tenure. Picked Excellency successor uh, uh, Fashola and Zulum, and a former first lady and a distinguished senator. It is a case of buy one, get three free. A famous quote, are you Hindu, Hindu, Muslim or Christian? And a young girl replied, I am hungry. As the elite separately try to smuggle religion into politics, or, or Ordinary citizens just need good governance. We must steer the country towards the path of making humanity, humanity our religion. No one should deceive us. As ordinary Nigerians, be it a pastor or imam, to vote 
or not to vote for anyone based on the religious coloration of the ticket, let the debate begin at the performance of Tinubu as governor of Lagos State and not the issue of the same faith ticket. Well, like I've said before, let's forget about this Muslim Muslim ticket. There are so many other choices in Nigeria that offer Muslim Christian tickets. So if you are not comfortable with APC, go over to another uh, party. Of course, what they did is absolutely wrong. I've said it before, I made it clear. I do not support the Muslim Muslim ticket. It should, we should stand for justice and do the right thing. I already made that clear, but obviously that is what APC is offering. So go for another political party. Then uh, we saw a lady who donated money to support to support uh, Peter Obi's political uh, bid. Well, that was really really cool for this lady to have done, and uh, they even made a video about it. Uh, that's a lady her name is covenant Unubuchi. well uh for all the supporters of peter Obi, i think this is a great one it's an highlight for you guys you know during the time of uh, president old barry and who dubas also save up uh, her money as well and the child also save up money as well and uh, someone is about to trek for tinubu as well from Bauchi to lagos well a lot of other things are happening so uh let the best man win and uh hopefully though hopefully the best man will, will win in nigeria then uh, let's move forward uh funke akidele being the vice the one main for the next for the uh pdp uh candidate for governorship election coming in lagos well guys that is quite good to see actresses nollywood entertainers jumping into politics i think that's really really good i think let us see the strength of this nollywood entertainment in people's life you know uh Desmond Elliott has already proven that politically, and uh, we as we are seeing uh, um, Banky W about to prove that as well. And Funke Akidele, let's see if if she gonna prove. I will see. A lot of people think that a PDP will never emerge the next governor of Lagos State. That is, it 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 will definitely be APC. Well, but I want to see the numbers, the numbers that will vote. That's what I want to see. I want to see the numbers that will vote. So let me know the strength of uh, celebrities, the strength of celebrities when it comes to politics, uh, when it comes to politics. Well, then at the end of the video, this is what Reno said about Atiku wearing jeans. <laughs> he said, when, you, when have you seen Buari or on jeans like this incoming president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Atiku Abubakar? The man is comfortable in Igbo attire, in Yoruba native, and in Babariga, a unifier, a modern man, Sovi, demonia, and compo politician. Article. Well, I don't understand most of what uh, Dino Melai is saying. Well, I don't know if uh, wearing jeans can justify if a man is fit for being the next Nigerian president or not, but. That is uh, up uh, up to the uh, arena more or mockery. Well, thank you guys so much. It's a boy here at Adam's link. And uh, have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Hope to catch you next time. Peace.